Hi there, it's Jakko here. Today I'd like to take a look at 3D code and the voxel sculpting and the primitives we can use to build a form. So let's get started. We can go in here and use this voxel sculpting in here and just use this uh, empty stage in here. And let's get here and you, now we can actually see that we have our volumetric uh, layer in the box tree and we just can go and uh, maybe increase the resolution a little bit. You can do this later as well but I just want to have a little bit of resolution there so we can kind of see the forms better. So we can hit these objects and primitives in here and we can get the list of uh, all of them. For some reason my 3D code is a bit slow today but I'm not sure why. So uh, here we are, we can see that we have like plenty of them to choose from and these are actually gonna be really powerful for us to, to build different forms. So maybe we can get started with the cylinder. Now we can see we have a bunch of handles here. We have the, the radius on the top and radius on the bottom and the overall radius in here. And we can just uh, use these controls if, we, if this is good for us and we can also you know change of course the overall uh, size of the object. So maybe say that we want to build something like this and and so on. So I'm just going to go and uh, go to tool options and click apply. Now we added this and you can see that we have this this guy in here. And now if we can, if we want to add another shape, we can just go and uh, say that we want to do something like this. So we can actually put this guy in there and again apply. And now we have built built this kind of shapes and so on. So we can we can sort of keep on going in here and. And we can also, if we want, we can we can reset reset the scale so we can get this exact uh, shape. Now we can use all these uh, sort of boolean. I'm not sure if these are called booleans, but you know, in the, coming from the 3D 3D world as a light light wave, you know, I tend to think of these as a booleans because basically they work like that, but they work way better than than booleans ever did. You know, we don't get any problems. We are using the you know, the voxels in here, so absolutely brilliant stuff. So I can actually go and uh, subtract from this and we can kind of cut this guy in there. And now I'm going to show you one trick that I use all, all often. So if you use uh, hit S for symmetry and you come in there and use radial symmetry, for example, and let's say we want like four, maybe I'm going to increase this to six. Now watch this when I do, when I come in here and I just move this guy maybe out from the center a little bit, we can, we can see we're getting this. Now, um, oh, I just moved that. So now if we go and uh, maybe resize the uh, scale the object a little bit like that, you can maybe you already can kind of guess what I'm, where I'm going at in here. So maybe we want to do this kind of thing and move this guy in the, I'm going to again hit subtract. So look what we've got. We've got this revolver kind of thing. Yeah, and and already what what we've got is something that would take a long time to try to model in using traditional sub subdivisional modeling, for example. So um, I mean, with this short time, we were able to come with, come up with this shape, you know. So this is something that I absolutely love in my workflow. If I'm doing some high poly models for the games, and then I'm just gonna be able to do kind of a build this shape in here, and then do retopo re in here, and and basically bake some stuff out and this is just a way very fast way to come up with high poly models so yeah absolutely digging this so maybe we can build up this form a little bit more just uh, just coming up something random here i'm gonna go and uh, disable the symmetry and and reset reset position and reset scale and move this guy up a little bit here maybe and scale down a little bit come up here and scale it up again something like this and I'm gonna add I'm gonna do that and maybe I'm just you know doing something random nothing really specific I'm gonna go and uh, do add in here now we did that so we can use for example uh, these guys now um, let's see what we can come up with this one so, so it was this very nice uh, very nice little primitive here this uh, sort of nut nut thing in here I'm gonna use the radial symmetry again and I'm gonna uh, maybe move this guy a little bit here. And um, I just wanna uh, move this a little bit and scale it down. So as you can see, you know, you can, you can see what, what I wanna do in here. So it's a very fast way to come up with shapes 
like this. So you can always, of course, you can use the same stuff even in service mode. So, so you don't get the objects blending in together like this, like like they do do when you do this. So, um, so yeah. But it's very nice because now you can just when you edit the shape in here, you can just move this guy around and create, keep keep going. You don't need to to start from the scratch. And again, doing this kind of thing, even this kind of thing in traditional modeling application it would be a little different and it would be kind of pain because you have to kind of clone objects and yeah I'm not a huge fan of that nowadays so we can do this and we can actually maybe increase this increase the amount of them in here and I'm just gonna hit add in here so maybe we can build up this form even a little bit more so so I'm gonna show you this torus thing in here so if I if you hit shift uh, when you rotate uh, you can actually lock the camera into into certain angle I'm using the auto graphic projection here so I'm getting like a no no perspective here so now when you want to rotate this you can select click this and you can see that we can rotate like this but but if you hit um, if you hit control you can lock it in certain degree so you can get exactly 90 degree in here for example so maybe I kind of dig this but I'm gonna actually change the uh, radius so we can get this kind of ring shape here that this is what we want so I'm gonna actually move this guy in, in here and I'm actually gonna sort of put it in here something like this might be actually interesting and and we can just hit uh, we're gonna add and move this guy down Again, hit add and game move down and just basically scale it up. So now we came up with this this kind of shape in here and and then maybe we want to make a hole on the top. So I'm just gonna take this cylinder and I'm gonna move it up and again scale it down a little bit like this and again hit subtract because we wanna make a hole in here. So like that. So so within a relatively short period of time, this is the final result where we are able to come up with. So definitely really, really digging this workflow. And now if we want to smooth this, we can always just increase the resolution in here. We can get the smoother shape in here and and so on. So yeah, um, so this was a quick look at primitives in 3D code. I really recommend to, to try to use them and see what we can come up with. This was Siakko and I hope to see you soon. Thank you and bye bye.